Hello, everybody. Good Sunday afternoon. Come on in. Got to get a little dinner going. Hope you all are having a God bless Sunday evening. It is a beautiful Sunday evening in North Carolina. I tell y'all, it's beautiful. The sun is shining. But it's still kind of cold. Still wintertime, y'all. So let's not forget that. So on the menu today, I've got a nice rotisserie chicken from Sam's Club. And uh, I'm still cooking the light, y'all. <clears throat> still taking it easy. So what I'm doing, I'm going to cut this chicken. And we're going to have some good old barbecue chicken for Sunday dinner today. This is going to be the quickest barbecue chicken you ever saw. So I'm just going to cut it. You, know, you have to get the string and all that out of there. And what I always like to do with my breast, I like to just cut my breast. Well, we'll do the breast. We'll save both the breasts. Uh, both sides of the breast for last. We just, <clears throat> you know, the, the chickens are tied with a uh, cooking string, so we get all the cooking string out of there. And let's see, where's that other? Yeah, there's that other leg and drumstick. Just cut right through it. And uh, the other thing on the meat, another reason why I cook these up, you know, when you cook, and I like the fact that they don't cook these chickens for them all the way through. You need to always, at least I always do it, except when I'm doing uh, chicken salad, I put them right through the microwave and let it finish cooking the rest of the way. If you know, they don't, those chickens are still, you know, you get a little red in the bone part. Um, I don't know red on chicken. So what I like to do is I cut this breast meat into about four parts. That breast is a pretty good size breast. And we get a lot of nice breast meat there. <clears throat> you see, we still got breast meat. And I just cut that, the backbone, I just cut it right out of the back of Just cut it right out of there. That's real easy to do. And um, it's a lot of meat on that piece there. Just get it right there. Like I said, I cut that chicken breast into about three parts, and I leave the bone right in. You know, we like to suck on that bone. So, real, real easy. Easy peasy. And this uh, this makes for a nice dinner. I don't know, you know, this Tony, I, I know he won't be here today. That's my football-loving child, so I know where he'll be in front of the TV so he can scream and holler and carry on. And, um, Tonya, I'm not sure. Because, you know, we all sort of been on the weather here a little bit since the holidays. Okay, what I'm doing now, this is Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to squirt it all over. And I tell you, y'all know I added, uh, this is about a half of a, let's see, 40 ounce. So this is about 20 ounces of Sweet Baby Ray's. I added a fourth of a cup of sugar to it. A teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder. And just mix it up a little bit. Just add a little bit of fizzazz to it. And I'm going to take it and rub it down real good. I'm going to run it through the oven for about 30 minutes to let that barbecue sauce cook all the way through it. You know, of course, it's the uh, chicken's already done. So all we got to do is just let that uh, sauce go through it. What I'm going to do is cover it. And I'm going to just put it in the oven, a 375 degree oven. For about 30, 30, 45 minutes I'll do it. That's all it's going to take, y'all. And like I said, then we'll have us a good old pan of mm, barbecue chicken. And this food, this will be enough food for me. And Dexter will be by here. Mmm. And Corinne always comes to eat Sunday dinner with me. So the boys will be back here to eat. They might not all come at one time, but they come by. If they don't come by and sit down at the table, they come and do what they call a takeout plate. So Sean and Corinne will be back here. So like I said, I'm still sort of taking it easy. <clears throat> As a result, the aspiration, y'all, still going through a little bit of bronchitis with that. But I feel pretty good. Just get winded every once in a while. You know how respiratory stuff does you. So by the grace of God, I can still function. So I got that barbecue sauce all over there. I'm just going to put some oil over it. And I'm going to run it through the oven. And then the next thing 
that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some uh, go ahead and tighten it down. But you see how easy it can be if you want to, or if you want to make your own chicken or you want to roast some chicken on your own. It's perfectly up to you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken into the oven. Well, actually, I got it on 350 because it's not cooking. It just needs to heat through really good, okay? Let's get that out of the way. And we're gonna get our, <coughs> excuse me, our Brussels sprout pan on. I've already cut and washed my Brussels sprouts. Okay, got them cut and washed. And they're gonna go up here. here. I'm gonna be putting some, um, fourth cup of olive oil in there and I sliced some onions to go in there. We're gonna season them up real good. Let's go ahead and get that olive oil hot. So what have you all been doing? I'm I, Again, I just apologize that I have just not felt that much like getting on here as much as usual. Cause you know, you gotta, you gotta, gotta take care of the body, gotta take care of your health uh, when things are happening. Okay, so while that is getting hot, um, <clears throat> let me get my Brussels sprouts on over here. Okay, got the Brussels sprouts chopped and ready. When that oil gets hot enough, I'll just go ahead and put them in there. We're going to cook those. Y'all know we've done Brussels sprouts a lot of times on here. The other thing that I'm going to go ahead and get started with is going to be, uh, I'm going to make some dirty rice. Because uh, we did Kinsley's birthday yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I cooked a lot of um, ground beef patties, ground beef and uh, ground turkey patties and I had several left over so guess what we having for dinner today some good old homemade dirty rice yep 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 we're gonna do some dirty rice <clears throat> and we'll be using that those ground beef I think I have five or six of those nice patties left over so y'all know I'm not gonna let them go to waste so we're gonna be that's what we're gonna have today we're gonna be doing um the barbecue chicken, the Brussels sprouts, sauteed with, with onions, and some dirty rice. That's a good Sunday dinner. What do y'all think? Um, you know, we're going into the uh, first part of the year, so we're sort of coasting, coasting in, um, kind of cooking smarter rather than harder, which is part of what I had planned uh, for this year anyway was just to um, kind of slow it down a few notches. And then I'll, you know, I, to, you know, I got a birthday coming up in a couple of months, so I'll pick up the pace. But in the meantime, as I'm going through this bronchitis, I have to take it easy, y'all. So, I have not, <clears throat> I decided not to even hardly look at comments because I know once I start looking at them, I'm going to start trying to sit up and I know I got a reasonable considerable amount of catching up to do so uh I've not read any comments yet that said that you mentioned that any anyone had the opportunity to look at that tell her this podcast that Rochelle Rice put out there and one she featured me in but anyway the whole point of it is to please go ahead and support the tell her this podcast it's worthwhile it's great work uh it's, it's just moving. It's, it's just some awesome, awesome work that I hope that everybody gets out there and gets the opportunity to, to uh, take advantage of hearing this young lady present her talent in the way of a podcast. I tell you, it's really awesome, y'all. Uh, you know, we talk about our our young people, and she is, I consider her young. She's 30, I'm sorry, 36 or 37, right in that area. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> But anyway, nonetheless, she's up and moving and on the go with uh, her podcast talent. And I think it's well worth our support and our attention. I think we'll learn some things uh, from the content of her podcast. I honestly do. 
is some good good stuff. Not just because mine is on there, y'all, but because the, the job that she did put it out there. Because among those women are, are you know, <clears throat> I'm among about 16 or 17 other people that she interviewed, and their stories are wonderful. I mean, Jay, absolutely wonderful. I think I put a little bit too much oil in this one. Just put a little bit of that oil out. <clears throat> Okay, and I think it's just about hot enough. Well, don't start that popping. Okay. Don't let it get a little bit hot. And while it's getting hot, I'm going to go ahead and let my rice, uh, my skillet get done. Because I've got some peppers and onions that I need to saute for the uh, dirty rice. And uh, we're going to have this meal done in no time at all. So... Y'all hang tight. I'm going to let this uh, get heated up for another couple of minutes and grab a couple of things over here on the side so I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and got my Brussels sprouts in. I'm going to hit them with about a teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning, uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of about half a teaspoon of turmeric, not a lot, and then I'm going to hit it with some mixed garlic. Find my next dog. Yeah, good teaspoon of mixed dog with a little bit of that juice in there. <clears throat> because I want these to saute, I've got that heat up on high y'all. And now I am looking for my dog. Let's go ahead and put about a teaspoon of onion powder in there. Put that onion powder. Put that onion powder. I've got garlic pepper coming. There's my garlic pepper. This garlic pepper is really good. It's garlicky and it just has a really some nice little blend. So we got all that going on. And we're going to put a little bit of my cilantro lime, just to give it a little bit of a kick. About two spoons of cilantro lime. And I'm just going to stir them up, and at the end, I'm going to add some butter. Butter, baby. Okay. Get these going in here. And as usual, we always going to continue to pray without ceasing for those who are going to be anything that they're going through. I mean, you know we got the, the weather going, the government things. I mean, the things in our government are just like non-stop, y'all. Non-stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit just a little shake or two of lemon pepper seasoning. Um, Brussels sprouts and, and broccoli. Lemon pepper just does something to it for me. About a half a teaspoon. There we go. We're going to switch burning. Since I got that one going, we're going to get this one over here <coughs> going so we can get our dirty rice going. Dirty rice. Okay. Look for props so I'm moving right along. Now I'm going to help a little bit more of that oil back. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can get that grease on the burner here. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to get the dirty rice going. This is uh, green pepper. And onions that I've chopped one large green pepper, one large onion. Just chop it however you want to. You can chop it twice. I just keep the chop mine since you see the dirty rice you're doing. <clears throat> you can even put it in the food process and chop it even smaller if you like. We're gonna let this saute for a little bit. Put that big one. That big old onion over there. Okay. 
got that going. And you know we gotta do the we gotta season up everything. Have a piece on the onion powder. Everything is half piece on at this point. I'm gonna get my chicken bouillon seasoning out. A little onion. You know, anytime we're cooking, sauteing, or whatever, we're gonna season everything separately. So when we put it all together, it's nice and blended, and everything has a good flavor. We don't have to worry about it not having enough seasoning or too much or whatever, okay? So we're going to let that stop here for about another five or six minutes and we'll be right back and we'll start putting the meat in and I'll do the rice. And we'll have some dirty rice out for him. Okay, we're back. It's time to go ahead and get the meat going in here. This is approximately a pound of uh, ground, combination of ground uh, turkey and ground beef. And leftover from the burgers, about a pound of burgers that I had. Remember, I cooked, I think I used four and three fourths pounds of ground beef to make that, um, make those burgers. And I had this, and that was a lot of burgers. I had 15 or 16 burgers, nice size ones. So I'm just going to use this utensil here, Cheryl, and go ahead and Chop that meat up as fine as I can get it chopped up. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit more of uh, olive oil in there. I love Mrs. Dirty Rice. Love some rice. And I've got two and a half cups of, I'm using Uncle Ben's rice today, y'all. Two and a half cups of cooked Uncle Ben's rice. That's what I've got sitting up the side there. So, even though these burgers are already seasoned, I'm going to season uh, a little bit more, about a half a teaspoon of sweet wheat garlic powder, and I got some minced garlic I'm going to throw in there. Where's my mix? Yeah, I'm going to throw some minced in there. A tablespoon of minced garlic goes in. Okay. And we're going to let that cook while in there. I got some soy sauce. I am going to use some soy sauce today. Now, now this is one thing, but this is necessary for them to turn to dirty rice. There's soy sauce here. Okay. Let's see that meat. See, you know, you're used to seeing dirty rice kind of dark brown sauce. Now, my rice, I cooked it earlier today. And it's better if you can get that rice cooked ahead of time. If you don't want it. So I'm just going to start adding in and like so. That's a lot of rice, y'all. Two and a half cups. Not quite half of it in at a time. And as I add it in, I'm going to start putting some more seasoning in. Okay. I'm going to add me in some um, chicken. I can lower the heat now because nothing's really cooking this, this blending right now. Okay. A little bit of turmeric. This 
because I'm still making sure that let me just chop up a minute. I'll get my spoon in here in a minute. And I'm um, in a, I'm looking for a dish top. There it is. Right on the stove. It's driving the stove. There we go. Add another couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there. Some more rice going on in there. And we're just going to do this until we get everything incorporated. This, this takes a good 10 15 minutes to get all the rice and everything mixed all in so that those flavors will blend in together, get me a little bit of turmeric going. And I'm going to do some, a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> well, my other ingredient just slipped my mind. Of course, I'm going to put some, a little bit more. So this is like a teaspoon at a time of the um, soy sauce. You don't want to get too salty or too, too whatever. It is. Okay, so. We're just going to continue to do this throughout until we get it going, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back to finish off the rice. Got everything all mixed in. I've added my butter, so you know I just put a little bit of Smart Start. And I also decided I want a, a little bit of that sausage, that sagey taste. So I'm going to add about, this is um, four sausage patties that I want to have just browned up. Don't need to, don't don't put too many because you don't want them to take over. Between that and the sage seasoning, it gives us dirty rice. That's what it needs, y'all. I did put uh, you can eat sage or pork seasoning. So I put some you know sausage of course has the sage in it. And pork seasoning and the sage almost tastes the same to me. So what we're doing here is just mixing everything. Everything is wonderful. Seasoning, and of course, you got to taste it along the, along, along the way to make sure it tastes like what you want it to taste like. I put just a little bit of heat to it, crushed red pepper, chili pepper, whatever you want to put, just a little bit. If you like a lot, put a lot. I don't like a lot, as you know. So we put a little bit of uh, heat in there, just a little bit, just a little bit, y'all. And so this rice is done, y'all. All I'm doing now is just mix in make sure i get my sausage all mixed in and that's my version of dirty rice y'all so when we come back we'll be just about ready to serve it about ready to get that chicken out of the oven so hang tight i'll be right back okay y'all the chicken is almost ready to come out about 10 minutes before it's going to come out take the cover off and move that heat up to about 375 and let it get a little um let that barbecue sauce glaze and then sort of mop it a little bit and it'll look just like that came off the grill. So hang tight in about five minutes. We're gonna be ready to eat this meal. Okay, y'all, dinner is served. The barbecue chicken's ready. The Brussels sprouts are ready. And of course, that good old dirty rice back there, just as dirty as it can be and ready to be eaten. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your well wishes, your comments, your compliments, and your prayers. And listen, remember to pray without ceasing. Lift somebody else up. Do something kind for somebody, but just remember to pray without ceasing. And until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Toodles.